So let me tell you the reason why Caribou has the most important role to play in the final saga of One Piece. And it all starts with the question, who does he truly work for? In chapter 1056, it was shown to us that Caribou was overhearing the Straw Hat's conversation about how Pluton is in Wano. And Caribou went ahead and stated that there's a specific someone that wants to hear about this information. He, he goes along and mentions Poseidon as well. And we all know where Poseidon is and what it is. It is Sharahoshi, of course, the princess of the Fishman of Fishman Island. But it begs the question, who is he talking about here? Who is his boss? Who employed this man to go ahead and have his information? Or is he just a free agent roaming around and he's just probably gonna sell the information to somebody? Who knows, but I believe he has someone specific in mind. I know what you're thinking. You probably think it's Blackbeard, right? I mean, that's what everybody initial thought was when he once he said that line right there. And with all the recent events, with Blackbeard in the story, it would make sense for him to be Caribou's boss here because it wouldn't be far off for having a Yonko to have an informer. You could say the same thing with Kaido and Apu. And there is a Blackbeard ship headed to Egghead. And who don't, we don't know who's on there, but it is theorized that it is Lafitte and Katarina Davon since they are the only Blackbeard crew members that has not been shown in recent chapters. But then that just opens up another question. Why are they headed to Egghead? Did Caribou went ahead and get a Den Den Mushi and make the call like, hey, I need to be picked up right here, right now, because I'm on government island territory and I have information to go ahead and prov to provide with Blackbeard? That's probably the case. Or this just fits with Blackbeard character. Go ahead and have some of his crewmates head to Egghead Island after seeing the recent news article about Luffy take taking Vegapunk hostage, which makes sense because it's just pure chaos at Egghead, and he noticed. And Blackbeard always take opportunity when there when there is chaos afoot. But also, you can see him being employed by another pirate that actually is currently making waves in the sea. I'm talking about Buggy the Clown. Well, his affiliate. I'm talking about Croc. Crocodile, of course. With Crocodile, it makes total sense as well. Just from what we know from Crocodile, from his past plan of the Utopia in Alabasta, he wants to gain the power of Pluton to go ahead and enact his plan to take over the world and go ahead and gain the One Piece, of course, and gain the title of Pirate King that he so desperately wants and he just covered up for years now because he failed in so many plot points. He's trying to go straight forward and go ahead and take out the strongest man in Whitebeard, he failed. He probably got his hand cut off right then and there for that reason as well. Then he went ahead and went the underground syndicate kind of way, being the boss of Baroque's works and tried to overthrow Alabasta with a coup, fighting the rebels and the kingdom against each other. But he is just playing both sides and they just don't even know about it. And that was all to gain the power of Pluton. Until this day, he is still talking about gaining the utopia that he so desperately wants. And yes, desperately, because he is making these little ass schemes, these Ed and Eddie type ass scams to go ahead and make his way in the new world. You know, like getting like bounties on the Marines. It is causing chaos, but it's not getting you closer to the One Piece. And by the way, it's not Buggy's idea to do the bounties for the Marines. It's obviously Crocodiles. And Mihawk, he just doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to be left alone. He's like, all right, I'm a part of this crew, but I'm just chilling. I don't really listen to none of you motherfuckers. I do what I want. And I'm just chilling. I'm getting off topic for sure right here. But with Crocodile <laughs> having Caribou up his sleeve just makes total sense. Caribou has information about Pluton. Crocodile have been trying to get Pluton for two years. The Cross Guild is way behind all other Yonko's crews when it comes to the race in the One Piece. Because Luffy has three Poneglyphs. Shanks possibly has two from kid we didn't we haven't seen him actually take the pot of this from kid crew when they was pleading pleading for shanks to not to kill their captain right then and there and with blackbeard he did went ahead and defeated law but we don't know if he got the pot glyphs we don't know if the pot glyphs was on law personally or whether in the submarine and blackbeard can't get the the pining glyphs that they're in the submarine because they're in the sea he could go ahead and threaten a member of law's crew to go ahead and get the pining glyphs you know the old classic threat and do this or i'll kill you one of your crewmates you know now with the cross skill they're dead ass last it's obvious when it comes to yonker crews they're dead ass last they have no pining glyphs at all they're not even a race one piece but if they gain the power of an ancient weapon i feel like that would be a big ass jump for the cross skill and when it comes back to blackbeard being the boss of caribou it's like do he really need the ancient weapons you know he i feel like he's more in the race with the, the bonding list but right now it's not that very clear on did he gain the pony glyphs from law but i feel like 
they're probably in that submarine to have Blackbeard be in the race for the One Piece. That's why Crocodile, he just been egging with this, this Pluton shit for two years now. And I'm like, he's gonna get it. I feel like if it's a character that's gonna get an ancient weapon, it should be Crocodile. But it's still up in the air of Blackbeard as well. Because if he doesn't get the Pawn Gifts here, he might be the one that gets the information from Caribou, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I just think he's working for either Blackbeard or Crocodile at this point. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you can see some One Piece content like this. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But you can watch another video if you want to. Hey, it's up to you go ahead and like you join the video of course go ahead and comment your opinion do you agree with me do you think caribou is working for blackbeard or crocodile do you think he just or do you think he just out there having the information just being a free agent i don't know it really can go either way it's very convoluted but either way we're gonna figure it out i'm gonna see you guys later peace